<laughs> no, nothing. See, so the death noise is also the scary noise. It is a scary noise, don't you think? Bye. Uh, come back! <laughs> well, that was worthwhile. This can opener has seen better days. Man, Nomi, you're a trooper. A geometrically impossible vortex? Calculate its vectors, I'm curious. Don't mess with it. You could chuck someone in here, and it would change them. Probably not even in a fatal way. But I don't want to change either of those people. You could toss in Megan. Oh, uh, I mean, we have another good medic now. Or you can go in yourself. No. We'll try Megan, I guess. Optimal! It's an optimal toss. Oh, you have to choose someone when you choose yeah. someone else. <laughs> Dexterity increases. Nagem, Nagem. Now you've done it! Well, that seemed beneficial, right? I mean, I'm sure it didn't have to be. I never liked all the mosquitoes in Florida anyway. I'm sure you wouldn't. So yeah, Nomi can heal even without medical supplies. He's that good. Man, Nomi's great, huh? He just probably can't fight. We gotta get food again, though. And gas. We get frustrated because the CD player is jammed. Playing the song over and over. Who should fix it? I feel like just turn it off. We don't... We not kaiju. All we know is not kaiju. Oh, Kit always seems a little distracted. I know, see, that stat definitely changes. No, I mean, he's a magical forest creature riding a large rodent. Is someone in a giant monster costume? You can see the zipper. Apparently it doesn't work. Has a beady stare. I mean, there's a decent chance that Nagim might have a... I feel if we turn it off, the worst thing that will happen is we'll lose morale. I, I mean, don't. That would be the case either way, wouldn't it? I mean, I don't know what the worst case scenario is if you try and fix it and fail, because it basically you damage the car? Somehow? I'd say Nomi probably isn't good at it, and Kaiju, no. I don't know about the other two. Try it with Narkin. Sure, that was wrong and repairs it. Oh, Kai. Okay. Oh, See? she's a good ma- Alright, that was like the I right- Like I said, there was a decent chance. Right, and we learned that, yes, it's good. Man, Nomi! Nomi's a superhero. Nomi is credit to team. Oh, we find someone that we can trade with. Probably not anything we're interested in. But yeah, oh, no, oh there I think those shopping carts just spawned. There could be food traders. What? Yeah, food trader. Alright, no, we're not trading all of our food for medicine, because Nomi's amazing. Chainsaw? No. Alright, what do you got? What are you asking for? Nope, she wants weapons. Why do I have to be the weapon? I guess you just Charm her into fitness? I guess. Looks better than it was. <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible anymore, it's just bad. <laughs> Unlike your shooting, which improves twice with no no. Which again, doesn't make any sense because I'm actually a pretty good shot. That's our way of saying thank you, by the way. <laughs> we go. Oh, we didn't destroy a single zombie in there. That's fine. Oh, this is not good. Right, now we're going to need to get food and fuel. At least the time is morning. And it's a short siege. Well, it's not a long siege, but... I don't know how many more zombies you could have than this. Is that a Molotov? Yes. Uh, Nomi, why do you have an Uzi? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Don't give it to me, apparently. In fact, Noggin's the only one who might have a decent shot. So keep moving? 
Uh, try and get into the thing and see if there's uh, food or fuel, because we need something. Alright, nail board. Oh, Pokin! <laughs> he plays Pokin. Nail board seems like a good weapon, yeah? That's better than generic board. Hey, there is food. Food. Don't want to get cornered in here. Right, it's time to go outside since we need to be outside to leave anyway. Yeah, and there's no other rooms here. I can't go that way. You can't go anywhere right now. I mean, you can't go around the house. Oh, that was a good nail board. What's my attack now? Claw. With face. Face claw. <laughs> Does this make you happy? Nomi is up. Our, you're our Amazon, Nomi. No, we might make it to Canada all of them. <laughs> well, that went well. All we lost were some bullets. <laughs> because of the Uzi. <laughs> I don't like this car anymore. Why? Because it's all blah 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 blah. I can turn into a tree! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nomi. <laughs> That's helpful. Fuel. Well, Nomi has his little rodents. They're new at this. Reason with them. They didn't want to anyway. But we gave them some food out of pity. But you feel good about yourself. Yeah. But now we have no food. Yeah, I don't know why we gave the food away. I feel like there are other things we could have given. Okay, now everyone's upset. You didn't notice a hole in your backpack, and we lost... What happened bullets? to the luck thing again? What? Why'd the luck suddenly just stop really bad? SUVs have crappy mileage, and they're slow, but they're durable. And they don't break down as quick. Just don't go doing jumps with it. Ugh, we don't have gas. Oh, what? Oh, we found an SUV. Hey. With 81 fuel. We're getting the hang of this. Oh, yeah. Again, I feel you should always take this yes, one. Yes, it makes sense. Especially when you're out of fuel. I mean, food. Or when you're out of fuel. Uh, uh. Aren't you glad you threw Megan into that weird portal? <laughs> Two? This is our best run yet. Three. We hit three checkpoints. See, we found 81 gas on the vehicle. With bad luck, even. Oh, no. Yep, everyone got started to death. Well, we're getting Nomi's getting exercise, and now I've destroyed the butter. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> but she feels really good about this. How do you destroy a putter? By hitting. Isn't it the putter the like a putting club? Yeah, but it would. I mean, you, you wouldn't. You don't swing too a, low to the ground. Oh, it could bend. You don't swing a putter very hard, though, right? <coughs> Not typically. You got into an argument with Nomi. Uh, these all sound like terrible ideas, except maybe this one. I guess. Because driving faster sounds like a terrible idea. Taking a break, we don't have food in. The top, yeah. Hmm. Uh, that could have been worse. Uh, we the need Medical food. clinics, the more likely to have food. What's a book story even going to have? Book? <laughs> oh, you, why we love bonking the zombies by accident with the car? You know, we could also just go into these places. I mean, the zombies aren't too scare right now. Yeah, you want to look everywhere for food right now. We're actually pretty close to Camp Canada. I mean, there's still pl enough, plenty enough time for something to go horribly wrong. Especially if there's like a final encounter type encounter. Especially if there's no more food. Again, the zombies in the end are the biggest threat. It's just that food will compound, uh, being hungry will compound it. Yeah. Or rather, You'll being be hungry. Two hour impossible to survive thing. Oh yeah. It, well, or rather, being hungry will kill your morale. Humans don't need to eat. They just feel better if they do. Or they're miserable if they don't. Hunger is purely is 100% psychological. 
Mm. It was in the way. Oh, but I still don't know how he even lifts it in the first Oop. place. How what? How he lifts it in the first place. Face. Right by. He and Demo learned to carry from the same place. Monster Kid didn't get to go to lifting school. Problem. Although Monster no. could. No, he, he knows yeah. how to lift himself. I was like, no, he can't even lift an um, he can't even hold an umbrella. That's right. That might have fuel. I'm gonna say. Not much, but it's better than nothing. Any fuel is better than no fuel. You have a table. Death table. You have a chair. Oops. Throwing is pretty strong. Apparently the wrestler has a stat cap on their stats because of old injuries, but they can throw zombies. <laughs> what? They sort of fell down. <laughs> Why not? It's a zombie. This isn't the court. Like, I was going to say, there's not even anything in there. Yeah, I think if you are a monster type character, your unarmed attacks are a bit stronger. This is the worst clinic. All it has is gasoline and toilets. There we go. Stab, stab, stab! I think one of those shelves had stuff too. Oh, here. Those are super effective. Oh, yeah, yeah they those do. Those shelves up there have stuff. Stab! <laughs> Why is the music so cheerful? Oh my god. It's not what we need, but it's still good. In yeah, because lot. if Nomi's that good without medical supplies, I'd imagine right, right. is with medical supplies. The problem then becomes again, though, it won't save us from those super death encounters, though, because we'll just die in one fell swoop in those. Nothing in here. Nope. Man, there's a lot of nothings in here. There was a good bit of medicine up in that one room. Yeah. The zombies are just having a mosh pit and then falling over. <laughs> it's a zombie dance party. Well, do zombies have a very high dexterity? No, it's terrible. It's better than their intelligence, but... Well, that's because they have null intelligence, don't they? Yeah. Here. How many things even have a null stat? Golems, ar most arthropods, oozes... Are arthropods null intelligence? Yes. Is intelligence one of the only things that can be null? Uh, because yes. I know that null dexterity means it's immobile. It yes, can't move. A tree has null dexterity because it cannot move with any volition. And nothing can have a zero in any stat, or else it's basically dead. Well, it's helpless unless it's constitution, in which case it's dead because it has no health. A null strength is the same as a null dexterity. You cannot move because you cannot. Oh, a null constitution means you're either a construct or undead. It means you don't have a metabolism of any sort. Uh, null wisdom. Or null uh, charisma means you are not a creature, you are an object. So. And null strength means you cannot... Oh, no, null strength isn't the same as null dexterity. It means you cannot influence the world with your, with strength. Like, a, an incorporeal thing can have null strength, which I think is silly, because they can still interact with incorporeal things with their with some level of non-strength. Where yeah, are you going? An incorporeal thing, hypothetically, wouldn't necessarily have a weight. But it would to another incorporeal thing, though. No, it might not have a weight. Weight may not be something I mean, like, they'd be able to apply force to one another, though. But it doesn't necessarily function in the same way in an incorporeal situation. But the main thing is all creatures have wisdom, charisma, and every time and every time I've ever seen dexterity. I've never seen a null dexterity. It's just... Hypothetically possible. Yes. Everyone's in... Oh. Just stand up, line up. Bye. <laughs> Dead. That was pretty okay. decent. Oh! I see, it causes... Your great attitude lets you recover everything, but lowers your attitude. Mm -hmm. Oh, then she cut herself, 
goofing off in the post-apocalypse. You'll probably need stitches. No me. Yeah, yeah, no me. Oh, okay. That's how it should go, right? God damn it, Kaiju. It wouldn't be a bad idea to try to hunt for food when possible. Well, we don't get any choice in the matter. There's no wood. Just go to sleep. <laughs>